Hello everyone, welcome to Democracy 101 in 5. I am Yetunde Bakari. Democracy 101 in 5 is your quick guide to understanding the intricacies and dynamics of Nigerian democratic system. The show is an initiative of Yaga Africa with the support of the FCDO. Today on the show, we ask, what are the roles of state houses of assembly in the constitution review process? We went on the streets and we got some answers. Their role is to vote on any policy. If something is going wrong, something is going wrong in the country, their rules there is that to put it right. There are also debates on matters and issues, on policies, on policies affecting the nation. In every democratic framework, the constitution is the bedrock, the guiding principles that shape activities of government and the governed. But what happens when there is a need to change or amend these foundational principles? Well, that's where the process of constitutional alteration comes to play. Section 9 of the 1999 Constitution as amended lays out the procedures for amending the Constitution. It would interest you to note that regardless of whether the proposed alteration pertains to entrenched or not entrenched provisions, the impute of state houses of assembly is indispensable. Now, imagine this. A bill for the alteration of the Constitution passes through both the Senate and the House of Representatives. That sounds significant, right? Well, the job is not done yet. It remains incomplete until it is supported by at least two-thirds of all states' houses of assembly. But how does this support materialize? Of course, through the state houses of assembly. They represent the voices of respective states in the constitution reform process. The houses of assembly are not required to pass the constitutional alteration bill in the normal lawmaking procedure, but by mere approval by a resolution. So what does this mean? It means that each state house of assembly is entrusted with the responsibility to weigh in on these alterations, either by voting a yes or no. In some instances, some houses withheld assent on significant alteration. Usually, the voting is by a simple majority of its members. Unlike the bill-making process, which is outlined in Section 58 of the 1999 Constitution, state houses of assembly are exempt from such procedures. Their role in the constitution review process is clear cut to signify consent or dissent. Now, here's another interesting part. So I ask, can a state house of assembly kickstart a constitution alteration process? Absolutely not. The power is vested exclusively in the National Assembly. Also, the requirement of two thirds approval from all states applies irrespective of the nature of the alteration. So what happens if this two-third threshold isn't met? Well, the alteration bill hits a roadblock. It fails to materialize. That's the sovereign reality of constitutional reform. Consensus is key, and without it, progress stagnates. That's Democracy 101 in 5. We want to hear from you. You can reach us on any social media platform via at Yaga. You can also watch this episode and other episodes of the show on our YouTube channel at Yaga One. Thank you for watching. I am Yetunde Bakari. See you next time as we look closely at another crucial aspect of Nigeria's democracy. Remember, you have the power to make democracy deliver for you. Use it. Bye for now.